Welcome to the Idiot's Guide to Rebuilding Suzuki GT750 Engines by an Idiot. Hopefully it'll be of some use to everybody because I like to do things in a quick, efficient manner. Um, I've just pulled the cylinder head off. It was a bit of a pig to get off. Uh, as you can see, we've got a, a bolt here that snapped and there's another one down here that pulled. Um, when you see this sort of thing, you know it's not going to be an easy ride. A lot of people forget to undo this one bolt, one nut down here, should I say. So we need to undo that, and then we can get into it. This is the pulling plate that uh, I manufactured. Very simple to do. Um... Nice piece of 10 or 12 mil thick plate steel. Get your, your the, the head gasket that you've just taken off. Lie it on top. Through the holes for the small 8 millimeter bolts. <clears throat> Felt it pen through them. Center punch them. And then drill them out. Uh, they're dri drilled out to... Uh, nine millimeters to give plenty of clearance. I then wrote for me because I'm stupid top and the arrow points to the front of the bike. Uh, it saves a lot of time. I'll put it on now. Okay, so now we are going to put this lifting plate on. The first thing to do, we're going to use the original head bolts to push against the head. So we need to put oil inside all of them, if this thing works, there it goes. I normally do the two on the outside. At both ends. You can use more if you think it's going to be really sticky wind them down and then just back them off so they're not locked up Right, we fitted the pulling plate. Um, all the cylinder head bolts are down, all equally, so it's parallel. And the small eight millimeter bolts are in there um, about 20 mil. So we're not risking pulling the threads. So all you do now is raise these, undo these so it pushes on the plate but do them all equally and then it will break the seal very important to do them all equally there that's already gone Doing it this way means that you're not putting pry bars between the cylinder and the top crankcase half. When you're pulling the, the block up, make sure that it's all level or else it will get caught up on the studs. Keep an eye on the distance between the bottom of the cylinder block and the top of the crankcase, so you know you're going up in parallel. But this one just popped, so we know it's 
it's free now. It's hard without looking in the way or getting in the way. I don't know if you just heard that crack. That's it just moving up nicely. Okay, we've now got the barrel raised and it's important that you do it equally. If you tighten one side up or front or back bolts more than the other, you'll find that they start locking up in the tube. So as soon as they start going tight, move another bolt so it pulls it up evenly. I use the thumb trick where I just put my thumb in there and then the other side so you know it's going up level. Um, <clears throat> we've now got the block loose and in here as you know the studs are a wider diameter at the bottom and that's normally what it gets hooked up on. Um, so it's broken loose. So I will now take the plate off um, and hopefully we can get the block off and then I'll show you what I do to prepare the block in the next video.